this is Denise and today's tip is Business Ethics 101. There has been a lot of recent unethical behavior amongst virtual assistants and I want to talk a little bit about it today. Here's the thing, when you are unethical, you make the industry have the connotation or the perception of being unethical. We handle, as virtual assistants, a lot of sensitive information, whether it's mailing lists, clients' personal information, being compliant with HIPAA, all of those things, super ultra-sensitive information. If just one person is unethical in their behaviors and it comes to, to the light, comes to fruition, and people actually hear about it and read about it, they're going to be less inclined to contract with a virtual assistant that does everybody a disservice. So, if you are not capable or too lazy, let's face it, all of us have a lazy bone in us somewhere, to write your own blog content, then contracts with someone who can. Make sure that you always check Copyscape prior to payment and if they require a significant deposit, I would definitely consider that a red flag. Most of the people that I have worked with in the past when it comes to writing content for clients have always paid, have always asked for an invoice after the client has reviewed the, the work. I have no problem with that. Review the work, make sure that it is Copyscape approved. If you are stealing imagery, if you're just doing a Google search for images, don't do that. There are a lot of great sites that are royalty free that either require attribution or are just public domain. Use those sites so don't steal images. There is a great website called TinEye, T-I-N-E-Y-E, TinEye.com, and it's an image identifier. So if you actually pull up an image that you find somewhere that you think is just absolutely great, you can put in that URL into TinEye and see who originally posted that. You may find that it was something from Getty Images, and as we all know, that is something you do not want to mess with. You do not want to violate their copyrights. So, make sure that you're using from reputable sources. If you are incapable of writing your About Us page or your initial web page copy, there are definitely people out there that can help you and who specialize in that. Again, make sure that it all passes Copyscape before you pay them. If you are legitimately lazy and you are just out for a quick buck, do us all a favor and leave the industry. You really make the people who work hard at this industry to make a good living very difficult. You put us in an awkward position. You make us have to automatically justify everything that we do when at the center of our core we're honest and ethical. So, again, don't steal people's stuff. Give credit where credit is due, and if you don't know, research it or ask around. Until tomorrow.